Welcome back, guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, great to see lots of you signed up already on Train Heroic online coaching platform, guys. Uh, let's see more of you. Uh, remember, this week we want to really focus on inputting some of those workout metrics. So workout like today, guys, I'll get to it. Make sure you input your rounds, okay? Um, so that way you know how to put your rounds uh, for workouts like today, okay? So that's the focus this week. Keep putting your, your rounds or keep putting inputting your time. Yesterday was an AMRAP, so let's see um, those rounds. Hopefully you guys have figured out, ask your coach on how to do that if you had any issues, okay? Getting into the workout today though, we got another gymnastic strength here. Tuesdays, we're uh, focusing on that. It's a nine minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute you're working, there's no rest after the three movements, okay? So your rest is coming in between movements if there's much of a rest. So for the first movement, you got 20 seconds of the plank with one leg up. So 20 seconds, you're holding the plank, say your right foot's up, then 20 seconds, your left foot goes up while you put your right foot down. So for 40 seconds, you're planking. The 20 seconds after, that's your rest in transition for your next movement, okay? Which is 20 alternating single arm rows. So you're gonna go one, two, three, until you complete a 20. Those 20 will take you 30 to 40 seconds. So you get, again, another 20 second rest transition before you start those dive bombers. That dive bomber, there's a three second pause at the bottom. You're not trying to build shoulder strength here. What you're really trying to build is promotion of the right muscle activation, okay, in that dive bomber. So when you're in that bottom position, if your elbows are winging out, your shoulders are gonna fatigue. So you really wanna think about tucking in those elbows, promote that proper position. So when you come out of that pause, you're pushing through your lats, your triceps, your upper back muscles. So don't worry about doing all 10. Okay, think about what do you need to do, whether it's five, six, or seven, to allow you to promote that proper shoulder positioning and that core activation in the dive bomber. Once you've completed three rounds, so nine uh, minutes, three movements, three rounds, then you're ready to start the workout, okay? Workout today is an AMRAP 12. 12 minutes of two movements, starting four strict presses, 12 deadlifts. In these movements, I want you guys thinking about building core endurance. So flat back guys, activate your core muscles. If you're building that core endurance, you're building it not just by keeping your back flat, but consciously thinking about, are you pressing out? Imagine you're wearing that weightlifting belt. Push into that weightlifting belt with your core muscles that help you act, uh, brace yourself. If you're bracing, sometimes we hold our breath. So make sure you're breathing, okay? So promote, core endurance and strength by bracing yourself in these two movements, okay? Um, if that's, if you're able to do that, guys, then think about now that you're, you're uh, trying to create that strengthening of the press and the, or the deadlift, okay? Maybe you're picking one or you're thinking about both movements. If you're promoting that strength, think about a weight that you can manage to do all four or all 12. You're almost building up. Minute number, two, or round number one, guys, you finish it at the end of round number one. In the imaginary world, you could add weight. So you're trying to ramp up versus starting heavy and then burning up. So you're trying to save that energy for that strength in your workout, guys, by starting not lighter, but by starting with a weight that's manageable. So on those later rounds, you're still feeling strong and you're promoting strength by good positioning of the strict press movement or of uh, good positioning of your deadlift, okay? If that's all make, making sense and it, it's working for you guys, then you wanna think about more of your intensity. And intensity today, guys, is coming through by doing the work. When you do the four strict presses, you're not taking break, it's just four. So do all four in a row. When you do the 12 deadlifts, it's just 12. Don't take a break, do all 12 in a row. So your intensity is coming through doing the work in one set, in one shot. So after the movement, if you need a rest, which we will, take a rest after the movement, not during the reps. If you're able to do that, your overall speed will go up. Okay, so you're gonna be moving faster just because you're resting less. You're resting in between movements. So I want you guys to really think about that since the reps allow that, okay? Now, 
for those looking for what kind of uh, rounds they should complete or what kind of weight, think about aiming for another 90 seconds per round, so about nine rounds in the 12 minutes, okay? That means you gotta work for it today. The strict press, it will be on a heavier weight. Imagine if you're thinking about what kind of weight, imagine you'd be, uh, the RX the weight would be 135 for the guys, 95 for the girls. So it is heavier, but that's because it's four. For the deadlift, it'd be a 225 for the guys, 155. If you don't have those weights available, don't worry about it. Just find an object that you can press, you can deadlift, but focus on just doing them in a row, resting in between your reps, or sorry, in between your uh, rounds or your movements, not during your reps, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. From there, guys, you're cooling down today by stretching out today. Yesterday you had a little bit of activation. Today you're getting into your two stretches, okay? Your downward dog and your lizard stretch. Check out those videos if you need um, direction of what those are. But you're doing 60 seconds on both sides, okay? So spend the four minutes cooling down, getting your heart rate back down after that intense workout, okay? Hopefully that all makes sense, guys. Uh, love seeing the, the community grow digitally, so keep it up, guys. Watch the demo video. We've been having fun doing those demo videos, and you guys, sounds like you guys are enjoying those demo videos, so follow along, watch the demo video, see, uh, use it as a pace bunny, guys, um, but enjoy those videos. We'll keep building this platform as the days progress. Have fun with this one. We'll see you tomorrow.